En bij ons inmiddels in de Live 3.8 studio... Rita I feel like I'm in a fishbowl and you guys are outside <laughs> well, and I'm well, stuck in a cage. We'll have you over here in just a couple of minutes to, <laughs> to talk a little more uh, more relaxed. It's uh, nice to see you. How's Holland uh, How's Holland going so I, far? Do you know what? I came in at 7 a.m. and I've slept until 5. Because oh. I haven't slept, so I've been catching up on sleep. Um, but, you know, tonight we're going to go and check it out. And I think tomorrow I'm here as well. So tomorrow evening I'm going to go and see see the history of... Uh, the um, history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called nowadays? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, uh, you know, the, the yeah, thing that yeah. we get up to. You know what I mean? We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But first, I will never let you down. Are you ready? I think so. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Let's do this. Uh, Rita or alive. Tell me, baby, what we gonna do? I'll make it easy, got a lot to lose. Yes, watch the sun and light coming through now. Open the window, let it shine on you. Cause I've been sick and working all week and I've been doing just fine. Watching me for got to have a good time. You can take it all these faces, never keeping it real. I know exactly how I feel. Oh, yes. when you say you've had enough, and you might just give it up. Oh, uh, I won't ever let you down. When you're feeling low, oh, yes. I'll be watching dreaming. Oh, uh, Oh. Maar dat is toch altijd, weet je, je weet het, je weet het natuurlijk nooit, hè? Met, met grote internationale artiesten. Die komen dan binnen en het kan, dan, uh, het kan heel gezellig zijn, maar het kan ook in één keer. Je weet het nooit, hè? Soms hebben ze er geen zin in of zo, maar Rita heeft er wel zin in, volgens mij. Je hebt geen idee. Dus komt deze kant op. Uh, koptelefoon klaarleggen ja, vast voor de... Uh, komt allemaal goed. Gespreid bedje, hè? <laughs> Gespreid bedje. <laughs> nou, ik zie al, even kijken, kijk, ja, dit is spannend gewoon. Dus laten we... Ladies and gentlemen, Rita! Marita, how are you doing? Why is there only guys in here? Where are all the girls? It's because it's uh, like a... 
a what man. Sausage what? Fest. <laughs> now you know why we're so happy that you're here. Yeah, yeah, you can see. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I can't explain. It's always like this. It's just because, uh, well, we guys and we have fun in the evening. Yeah, you sound like you have a good time, so it's fine. Excuse me, by the way, I sound a bit hoarse. I've been singing for like two weeks straight, so my voice is a bit... Uh, I sound like you guys right now. <laughs> yeah. So how is that going to combine with all the tourist attractions Amsterdam has to offer? I don't know. I'm going to have to do it without speaking, so we'll see how that goes. No, but you know that our tourist attractions aren't exactly very good for your voice. Really? Why? Because they're like... Uh, well, you have that it, it, it involves smoking. They're very interesting. You, well, I do you, love that. You do smoke weed in the UK too, right? Um, I don't know if I can admit that, but... This is Dutch radio. You can, you can admit to anything I here. do love a bit of ganja. I'm not going to yes. lie. Oh, okay. Well, that's a ni- ni- nice beginning to this yeah. interview because... Yeah, uh, it's good because, um, you know, it's an organic natural herb. That's what it is. <laughs> How have you been doing? Because uh, you just told us you're, you've been traveling around the world, performing everywhere. It must be kind of kind of hard, you know? Um, I'm good. I'm all right. You know, me and the band, I've been traveling for a few weeks now. We're just kind of uh, promoting the song and just singing all over the world. I was in Austria yesterday. We did a massive festival. Um, you know, we're just really enjoying our time, kind of seeing new faces and coming around Europe. Because I actually haven't done a Europe tour ever before. So doing this is kind of like, it's been it's been time. It's about time, you know what I mean? I think it's time because your fans have been waiting outside all know, evening for you. So they were here all evening, literally all evening. Really? Yes, yeah. they have. I'm going to go and take some pictures with them. I mean, it was so nice. It's just so nice to see people appreciate and kind of coming out of the house and coming to say hi. That's a lot of effort. So, you know. Were you ever like that? Did you went to venues uh, waiting for artists? Yeah, uh, of course. Can I get a glimpse of... Yeah, my first one was the Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spice up your life. <laughs> no, it was... Um, I used to do it all the time. I still kind of do do it, I think, undercover. How, what, what's it like? Because now you're a big artist yourself and, 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 and you're famous, but is it still when you when you go to like like a party and there's yeah. and Rihanna's there that, yeah. that you think, oh my God, that's Rihanna? that's Rihanna? Yeah, I do because she's so, so gorgeous. But you know, no, it's, you have to play it cool, guys. <laughs> play it cool. But then when you leave, you have to be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like recently I was at Glastonbury and I watched, um, you flew a helicopter at Glastonbury. Yeah, I came back. Otherwise, we wouldn't have made it here in time. <laughs> wow. Uh, we, I watched a few amazing artists, and Paolo Nutini is, is someone I caught, and it was incredible. He had the crowd just going mental. It was amazing. And then afterwards, you were like, "Oh my God, Paolo Nutini!" <laughs> and then I ran, and then I ran through the the crowd and did a Mooney. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a movie star, also. Yeah. Because well, you're in in, in, in fi- this is kind of an interesting story because the 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 Fifty Shades of Grey movie is coming out. Yeah, it is Valentine's and, Day. And you have something with this this these books? I do. Not something. I just love the books. It's a good book. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we we haven't read no. it because, as you You're said, lying. only no, men no, in this we, studio. No, it's really a woman's no, no, thing. Kidding. It is a woman's thing. But you're gonna see the movie. You no, are, right? You're going to go and watch it, right? Well, you're yes, in it, so, of, co- yeah. of course we are, but but what was the whole thing that, that got well, you saying, I need to work on this? Well, I, I love the book, and I was a big fan of the book, and I read the book before I even knew they were doing a movie, and then, uh, you know, I asked what kind of music they're going to have in this movie. You know, I wanted to do some music for the movie, the soundtrack, um, and then it went from that to the director just asking me, you know, you want to just give it a go, start auditioning, and I said, okay, I mean, I've never done it, but why not? Fuck it, let's try it. So I did it, and um, it just came out, thankfully really well and it was my first movie role and I wouldn't say I'm in it you know 100% but it's a nice introduction you're not doing any sex scenes I personally am not <laughs> would you have done it if, yes. they, if they ask you yes. yeah. Yeah? yeah yeah I mean honestly if you're going to commit to a movie you need to commit 100% in whatever it is that you do. So if this movie is clearly about sexual activities and it's a very sexual book, then and if, and, and if you're not willing to kind of put it in 100%, then why are you doing the movie? How's your sex life? My personal sex life? Hmm? It's incredible. Do you do a lot of crazy stuff like the whole Christian Grey thing? You mean to myself? <laughs> well, do you, do you have men do crazy things to you? This is going to be a very awkward question. <laughs> yes, it is. What's the most um, crazy thing you have ever had a man do in the bedroom? I'm not going to tell you because I don't want him to think he's special. He's not listening to Dutch radio. Well, you never know <laughs> because it was amazing, but I don't want him to know that it was amazing. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, you know, I'm not going to get into detail. Oh, gosh, you're embarrassing me. It was good, though. I mean, now, now you're getting my head all... I just want to know what it is. Well, Does it I, involve rope? No, it involves um, handcuffs. Oh, oh, wow. But I'm not telling you anymore. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, we're What's your be- craziest sex thing? Well, I uh, one time I I bought this uh, bondage tape, which what, is. Did you wrap it around yourself? No, 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 no. I, I have a girlfriend. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, great. 
very lucky. But uh, <laughs> uh, this is the that's like uh, it's like tape that doesn't stick. So you can oh. like do all kinds of crazy stuff in the. In the you bed. are so nasty. Yeah. yeah, he is. And at least I'm honest about it. Dirty dog. <laughs> the four questions no one dares to ask. Yeah, this is a little thing we always do when we have uh, international I'm artists really over. Yeah, it, you, you should be. You should be. <laughs> 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 They're the four same questions for everyone who, who comes here, and it always starts with question one. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. Like what? I mean, when I was about 12 years old, I stole the headband. The headband? A headband. Oh, well, like, like a, a headband. hairband. Like a hairband for my hair, and um, I got caught. Ugh, it was so embarrassing, and then I got banned from the store for months. I actually still haven't been in there. Do you think if I walk in now, they'll let me in? I don't think so. they'll let you in. I think they'll remember. <laughs> they'll say, no, 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 no. I have, I have stolen stuff. Years the ago. second question, uh, did you ever cheat on somebody? No. Never? No, never. And um, I guess if you're starting to think about somebody else, then you're not meant to be with that person. So, no, but I'm, no, that's never going to happen. Question three, have you ever tried any drugs? Uh, no. <laughs> don't don't come in here lying to us. No, I actually haven't. I honestly haven't. I have not. I mean, I love a drink. I am. Um, I can drink you down to the bottom of the ocean, but uh, the drug world I don't really like. No. Except for ganja, then. Uh, yeah, except for the ganja. All okay. right. The fourth and final question. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Here it comes. How it's often? the same question for everyone. Uh, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How often, Rita, do you masturbate? Oh my gosh, all the time. All the time? <laughs> Do it right now. <laughs> I mean, uh, what the... But this is what I mean about, you know, you can look at sex in two different ways, honestly. Like, it's not meant to be an embarrassing thing or something. You can't... It is a very private, intimate thing, but it's also something that shouldn't not be spoken about. That's why I was such a big fan of the book, because it brung what I think the world needed. I mean, our imagination became okay because we're reading it and it's a fiction but it's just an imagination of you personally so me speaking about sexual kind of intercourse and activities is not it doesn't embarrass me because it's not like a nobody thinks about it are you, know? you are you were you were you um did your parents raise you open, with an open mind yes thankfully yeah? actually my mom and my dad are extremely free spirits and they're very very open-minded but they have morals you know we are we are very strict family we're from kosovo so we are very kind of like one two three kind of but what they did allow me to do was they accepted me for who i was i was a very crazy kid i never looked like anybody else I always dressed different i always acted different and i you know that they accepted me in my crazy ways so yes they are open-minded i think that's that's one of the most you know if you want to be an artist you should be open-minded right of course, open-minded and also get ready for opinions and people to not understand you. And not everybody should understand you, but it's it's what makes us good as artists is that we don't have any limits. That's why I love being a musician, because the more kind of creative we are, the more uh, identifiable we become. You see what I mean? Is there is there like a, a message you would if, if you could choose like one message yeah. you could transmit? Through your whole, uh, you know, through everything to you the do. Not, yeah, but but not only through your music, but just yeah. through being who you are. What uh, would it be to young people? I mean, the more free spirited you are, the more proud you should become of yourself, because you're taking control of your life. I love it when people take control of their destiny. You have your own destiny, you know. Control it. That's what makes it so great. We all have our own lives, you know. So that, that that's how I always think before I go into a studio, before I go on stage. I always tell my band like, play the best you can. Because this is your life, this is your destiny, and we always just kill it. And, you know, that, that's all I can say. And where is it going to go from here? What, me or just my spirit? Both. Both. <laughs> High in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, well, 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 it's a difficult question because you've already reached so much in so, in so little time. Oh, there's so much more to do. But, like, like what, what, what are your hopes and dreams right now? I mean, I'm on my second album, you know, at the mm. moment. So September, I, right? Yes, so I want to finish off this album. And go on tour, you know, I haven't actually toured my own tour here in Holland or anywhere in Europe properly. The last time I was here actually was when I uh, supported Coldplay. Wow, that, that was uh, quite some time ago. That was about two and a half years ago and it was just straight into the stadium. So it was never my own show. So I just can't wait to get down and dirty, you know. <laughs> I can't wait. Down and dirty with Rita yeah. Ora. I think a lot of people would like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the album's coming out. I will never let you down. Yes. Uh, you can download it everywhere yes, you can. Uh, right now. Uh, what's going to... Well, do you even know your schedule for no. the coming days, weeks? You don't have... No, I know I'm here tomorrow. I am here tomorrow. I'm doing a bunch of interviews. I'm staying in a hotel. I'm going to go check out the city. I'm, I think I'm going to go rent a bike. 
You're gonna go rent a bike. Yeah. An old school Dutch bike. Literally, and I'm just gonna ride around and eat lots of food. People are gonna hate you. Do I? Because Dutch people always hate tourists on bikes. Oh they, no! They do not know how to okay, use our so cycling not, lanes. Okay, so maybe not get a bike. You guys, if, what it, should I do then? Well, if you want to eat something while you're in Amsterdam. A motorbike, by the way, I was saying. If you want to eat something. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. A motorbike. No. no. <laughs> if you want to eat something while in Amsterdam, mm-hmm. there's only basically one thing we yeah, can. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash brownies. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I think you should brownies. try a croquette. What's a croquette? That's like a. Uh, okay, this is going to be real. No, this. No, it's not. It's like a thing. It's like a thing you pull from the wall. Yeah. Are you lying? <laughs> Are you gonna, lying to me? No, no, no. No, no, he's I'm going to explain it. There, he's for real. It's like a, a place okay. and they have these like uh, little little doors in yeah. the wall. Uh-huh. And then you can see the snacks laying in the in the door. So you, you put uh, two euros in uh-huh. and then you open the door and then you take the croquette out. What's a croquette though? What it's is a like, croquette? It's like a... Uh, uh, it's like a what? Say it's, it in a... Say it. It's like uh, with meat and... Uh-huh. and, and, and mm. it's, it's, it's pork meat. No, no, no! It's 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 not. I don't well, care. Can, I don't can care. you explain it's, it, Glenn? I don't care. Is it nice? It's it's, it's a awesome. type of ragu. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna taste it. It's you awesome. Try it. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Rita. Um, if well, you got me into some trouble, I'll, 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 I'll find you. <laughs> You're gonna survive the croquettes. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. Thanks uh, for coming to the uh, studio. Thank you, guys. Have I appreciate. Great it. time in Holland, and whenever you're back, come. Uh, thank come you for around. having me. I love you. Thank you for everybody listening. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Rita. Ora! <laughs>